Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a capacitive touchscreen with LVGL and the ESP32 S3. I'm using the ESP32 S3 and 16 R8 board which has 16 megabytes of flash and 8 megabytes of PSRM. I've already soldered the pins for a capacitive SPI display and I'll go over the wiring in the next part of the video. The display I'm using is a 3.2 inch SPI capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 320 by 240. It uses the FT6336 touch controller and comes with a built in micro SD card slot for storing log data or images. You can find the screen on Amazon or AliExpress for a pretty reasonable price. Alright, let's plug it into the ESP32 and jump into the next part of the video. Alright, let's move on to the wiring diagram for connecting the ESP32 S3 to the display. First, connect the VCC of the display to 3.3V and GND to the ESP32's GND. Then, connect the CS pin to GPIO 15, reset to GPIO 4, DC to GPIO 5, MOSI to GPIO 13, and the clock pin, SCK, to GPIO 12. The LED pin of the screen goes to GPIO 14. Now for the FT6336 touch controller which uses I2C, connect SCL to GPIO18, SDA to GPIO17, reset to GPIO16, and the interrupt pin to GPIO9. Keep in mind that the SPI and I2C pins might differ depending on which ESP32 board you're using, in this case, I'm using the ESP32 S3. Back to SquareLine Studio. First, go to File and select Project Settings. Choose the LVGL version. Here I'm using version 8.3. Then, set the output folder where the generated UI code will be exported and click Apply Changes. Now I'll design a simple UI with an arc and a slider widget. On the blank screen, I add a background image. Go to the Style Settings, select Background Image, and upload an image you like to the Assets section. Then check the BG Image option. Next, I add the two widgets, Arc and Slider. You can adjust their positions and sizes however you like. You can also customize their appearance based on your preferences in the Style Settings tab. Arc and Slider have similar customization options. Then, I add a label to display the percentage value. In this part, I mainly focus on configuring events directly inside SquareLine to make the project as low-code as possible, so make sure to pay close attention. First, I'll configure the event for the Arc widget. In the Events tab, click Add Event. For the trigger, select Value Changed. For the action, choose Set Text Value from Arc. In the Action Settings, select Label 2, the label I set up earlier. I also add a percentage symbol in the Postfix field. Then I click the play button to simulate, and as you can see, when I drag the arc, the text value updates accordingly. Next, for the slider widget, do the same, add an event, set the trigger to value changed, and choose the action as set text value from slider. In the settings, select label 2 again, and add the percentage symbol in the postfix. I run the simulation again, and everything works as expected. To synchronize the arc and the slider, so that when one is changed, the other updates too, we'll add a few simple lines of code. With that, the UI design is complete. I'll now export the UI and move on to editing the code. Okay, back to the code editing part. First, go to the user setup.h file to define the GPIO pins for the hardware. The display driver used in this video is the ILI 9341, and I've added a GPIO for the backlight control, which is GPIO 11. Next, configure the SPI pins for the screen, just like I mentioned earlier in the wiring diagram. As for the touch CS pin, since the touch driver uses I2C, we won't be using a CS pin, so just set it to minus one. Now head over to the touch.h file to define the GPIO pins for the touch controller, again, based on what we already discussed in the wiring diagram. Also make sure to set the correct resolution that matches your display. Finally, return to the main.cpp file and make sure the display resolution is correctly defined. In my case, I set it to 320 by 240. All right, now moving on to the UI.c file, we'll make a few adjustments so the behavior matches the demo you saw at the beginning of the video. As you can see, these are the events we created using SquareLine. The goal now is to sync the arc and the slider widgets so that when you change the value of one, the other updates accordingly. 
let's start by handling the event for the arc widget. First, I'll create a variable called value and assign the current value of the arc to it. Then, I'll use the function LV slider set value to update the slider based on that value. Same goes for the slider widget. I'll create a variable called value, assign the slider's current value to it, and then call LV arc set value to update the arc based on that value. With this two way sync in place, the arc and slider will stay consistent with each other whenever you interact with either of them. So, in this video, I've shown you how to configure and use a low cost capacitive touchscreen with the ESP32 and LVGL. Once you've made all the necessary adjustments, just build and upload the firmware to your ESP32 and test everything to make sure it works as expected. If you run into any issues, don't hesitate to drop a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.